Why will you be surprised? You shouldn't be surprised. Today is 28th of February 2024. And by the PDP uh, uh, guidelines approved by the National Working Committee on the conduct of uh, Edo 2024 uh, elections, primaries, uh, today is the day set aside by the electoral guideline approved by the National Working Committee to be the day that uh, the return certificate will be issued. And so it's, it's not something surprising I'm here. I'm here to receive my uh, certificate of return because I won the primaries uh, in Edo that was conducted and uh, the authentic delegates voted. I'm sure when you look at the walls of the PDP, you see the, uh, the names of all the delegates that voted for me on the walls of PDP. And today is a day. Look at it. Today is 28. And this is the document. Today is 28. And when you look at it, Presentation of Certificate of Return, Wednesday, February 28, 2024, by National Working Committee, pursuant to INEC and PDP guidelines. So, PDP must follow its rules and regulations. And this is what we are talking about, that the processes of having the candidate has been compromised from the onset. And we ask that those things be corrected. Even the committee recommended political solution fully aware that uh, the, there were abnormalities in the processes to the, that led to I and whoever emerged. But why I'm here today really is to obey the guidelines to come and receive the uh, certificate of return. And somebody told me somebody else came here yesterday and was given the certificate. Well, I think the court will uh, tell who among us actually deserve that. But I'm here in fulfillment of the electoral guideline of the PDP to receive my certificate. Another thing, this document I will make available to all of you. This document, those that conducted the primaries, those that were given responsibility to conduct the primaries, had their report already submitted to the office of the National Organizing Secretary. You can see them, their signatures. And this document I will make available to you. And from this document, you will see the mess that took place in Edo State. This is not going to be another primary that is organized by any political party and it will be put aside. I am ready for us to correct the abnormalities in internal party democracy because that is the beginning of the sustenance of democracy. If the party does not get it right, the foundation of our democracy is already being threatened. And some of us will not fold our hands to watch what we labored for, democracy that we fought for, that some of us scars on our body. Some of us could not make it. Some died in the process of fighting for this democracy. Some of us were brutalized during the Abacha era. Some of us still go with pains. Some of us are on the wheel, uh, uh, wheelchair fighting for this democracy. So I am alive by the grace of God today. I will make sure that the foundation of our democracy, which is party politics, is not threatened, is not destroyed, because that is the foundation of democracy. So that is why I'm here. I'm going to give you this document. These people have already been threatened. They tried to procure them and most of them refused. Now they have been threatened to go and write another report. And I'll make it available to you and uh, you, will, you, will, you will be amazed at what this committee that was 
constituted by the National Working Committee what they have to write. This document, they have refused to make it public. I am making this document public and you will be amazed. I didn't appoint these people. They appointed these people. And they are giving their report of what they saw in Edo State. And I think if PDP is serious, if PDP is ready to win Edo State, they must do what is right. So I am here and I want to tell all our PDP members in Edo State not to be worried. We will obviously get to the promised land. Edo will be a place where we reset how party politics, how internal democracy can be strengthened so that the foundation of our democracy is not destroyed. We are just coming from inside the part of Did you meet with any of the end of this members? Unfortunately, this is, uh, as at the time I went up, it was uh, 12.22. No, none of the NWC member has come to work. None of them has come to work. Only the staff of the secretary that are here. I think they are aware that I am coming and uh, they are not here. Uh, well, I don't know why they are not here. Maybe they are doing meetings somewhere else, but I don't want to speculate. But they are aware that I am coming and none of them is here. And, I, and that actually is strange and uh, uh, just in line with why will they be in a hurry to give certificate yesterday when today is what was approved for certificate to be given to the winner. So these are things I think we all need to investigate. But for me, I must be on the side of the people. I must be on the side of strengthening the foundation of our democracy, which is party politics. Yesterday, the party, the acting national chairman, was so, so concerned about reconciliations. Your name keep on repeating. Congratulations on how to get the talk between and reconcile with you. The same as one was also concerned about your name. So if they reach out to you, what will you do? I think maybe the acting chairman, uh, the acting chairman may be very honorable and he meant what he's saying. But any other person that have said that, they don't mean what they are saying. They are intimidating us and harassing us. As I speak to you, they are even threatening to impeach. And that is their own way of dealing with people. They suspend people, they, they sack people, they make phone calls intimidating people, telling people we will come after you. It's that the democracy we've all during the military, those are the kind of threats that, that that we were getting. We cannot return back to the era of intimidation and harassment. And that is the issue in Edo State. And some of us, like I said, some of us have the energy and the strong will to fight against oppression. And we are displaying in many fora that we hate oppression. We will always align with those that are civil. We always align with those that have empathy. If you don't have empathy and you are not civil, you don't have a place in democracy. We need democracy. And the foundation of democracy is lobbying, consolidation of lobbying, and empathy, not intimidation and harassment. Okay, and we will not succumb to that. Uh, finally, for emphasis, you will heard you say that uh, they are going to court. Yes. Is that the next line of action? Yes. Uh, when the party internal mechanism is being followed and it's obvious that uh, the party is not ready to listen, the next line of action obviously will be the judiciary. But I pray we don't get there. And that is why I came today. I'm sure in the coming days, the national chairman and others will adhere to what have brought me here today and when they do so obviously there won't be need to go to court but if they don't do what is needful needful in the sense that i want the primary with the authentic delegate the certificate should be returned to me if that is not done we will not have any choice to seek for interpretation by the court all right all right all right thank you very much thank you thank you I will come back, I will do it.